Well, welcome to Buttermere. Uh, parked down at the uh, National Trust car park. And as you can see, I'm the only one here. Having said that, it is midweek and it is just after seven o'clock, I think. We are over at Centre Parks for four nights. So I've got up to get here nice and early. We're heading somewhere in that direction. And the first one we're going to do is Melbrick. And then I'm going to do Hencombe as well. It looks a nice day. Want to come along with us? Melbrick has got two summits. One of them, the Buttermere side, is the official Wainwright summit. Uh, most people will start at the other side. So I think this walk is going to be a bit longer than I anticipated. And then we've got the sun just breaking over the top of the fells there. And looking down the Buttermere Valley. So the water from Buttermere, quite fast flowing. And it's running down there towards Trumac Water. And that's where I'm heading. It's looking nice now, but uh, it's forecast rain by about two o'clock. So I hope to be back in centre parks long before then. Ooh, look at that. Either way, that's where we are heading. Here, hand you. Well, that looks like a Melbrick there in front of us. And like I mentioned before, two summits, one at each end of the ridge. So I'm doing the official Wainwright summit and I'll be dropping back down and then heading across the valley to go up to Hencombe. And our first proper view of uh, Crummock Water. We've got Ranadale Knots up there. Buses wait ages for one, they're about six come all at the same time. Well, I think we missed a turn off somewhere because I was down the bottom there, too busy looking at the uh, jets going past. Realized I was off course and I need to get up over here, so it's been uh, here yeah, a very, very boggy and a bouldery walk to get up here. And even though we're now bang on the path, the path is skirting around there to the waterfall. It's not the best, to be honest. So whatever you do, don't follow me. Damn me. I now know why nobody walks up Melbrick from Buttermere. Whew. I'm going to cross there, fill the path. And that's where we're heading for the first one. I think that's uh, I think that's Hen Coombe over there. Only gonna film Mel Brick. And I'm gonna have to put the camera away and I'm gonna have to really get on my toes. And how nice is that? Well, I'm very, very tempted to stop here for a while, put me paid up, have some days, and just chill out. Uh, unfortunately, because I took the, the hike of doom uh, way up here, I'm going to have to get there uh, with skates on. So, I maybe just have a couple of minutes and then start the, the climb up there next. And how amazing does that look? Mean moody absolutely magnificent the sun is trying its hardest to break through but a bit concerned about that cloud and mist over there we haven't got that far to go yet i think you can maybe see where i cut across country there it looks 
fine. I tell you something. It's not. It's it's boggy. Lots of rocks. All the rocks are wet. Uh, a lot of bracken. Uh, so very hard, very slow progress made over there. Now that we're going up, I'm fine. And look at all that up there. Have we got over there to go yet? But once I get this done, I tell you something, I'm going to beast it over there. <sighs> the wind did get up there actually, and uh, what I could see on the uh, the phone, it didn't look the best of drone footage to be honest. But anyway, we'll, we'll check it out when we get home. This has been a great walk this. Once you get onto this walk, the path is great, easy to follow, and up and down, and a bit of flat, up, down, bit of flat. So a great path. That's the final bit up there now. So I'm really gonna push on up there. Can't believe how good I feel. But I say I have been training, even though I haven't been fell walking, I have been training uh, three times a week down the gym. I've been walking every single day and when I've been by myself I've really been pushing myself as well so thankfully I think I'm getting the payoff but oh man I'm gonna to have to stop it I keep stopping I'm not a breath of wind there now should I get the drone out again but oh look at that man but uh, once I do get up there I will have to put this camera away because uh, every time I film I'm stopping and I'm yakking and I'm just looking and uh, but people ask why do you do it I mean God do you really need to ask well I have stopped I would answer another question and who was it again top three summits uh, quite easy actually it's got to be Great Gable fantastic you get that on a clear day amazing views uh, so Great Gable uh, Scarfell Pike again on a clear day stunning views and uh, the third one was a toss up between Cat Bells and Blencathra uh, I'll say Blencathra uh, again the achievement it's quite a, a big fell it's quite a tough fell and if you go over sharp edge uh, I've gone over sharp edge four times I'll admit it and no, I'm not one of these that uh, brag about it oh yeah nothing to go on over there I've been over it four times and each time I was nervous really nervous going over there and nervous is a good thing it makes you concentrate and you need to concentrate going over there uh, but picky day nice dry sunny warm day sharp edges brilliant uh, but there's the achievement of going over there and getting to the top there uh, fantastic view down over Keswick and plus the fact I've been up there by myself I've been up there with friends I've been up there with my son and I've been up there with my grandson Harry Metal Man as well I say it was a toss up between that and Cad Bells and as well as all them people I've already mentioned I've also been up there twice with Mrs Metal Man as well so obviously means quite a lot to me so my three favourite summits Hopefully that's answered that. Any more questions, put them in a comment. Yeah, Melbury. Why does nobody do it from uh, uh, bottom here? Well, I found out today. Uh, I am going to do it again because uh, I want to film Helm Coombe properly as a separate walk. But I think what I will do is I'll walk from the other side and I'll go up and do both summits. But I'll do that in the, the uh, warmer weather. <laughs> But it does remind me a bit of uh, Great Mel Fell. When I did that last year, I always remember thinking, why does everybody just go up and down? Because there is a path around the base of Great Mel Fell and you can come up the back way. And that way you can make it a loop. Why doesn't anybody do that? So, yeah, you guessed it. I did that. Woo! I found out why nobody goes up that back way. I'm not kidding you, it was like that. I started going up it, I thought, wow, this is a steep mind. And uh, thankfully I had me pole with us, because you needed this, did you not? And uh, it got steeper and steeper. It got the stage. Honestly, I couldn't stand up. So I thought, well, it's about 50 yards there. That must be the top there. So I kept on going, kept on going. I got there, I wasn't even halfway at the summit. I couldn't believe it. 
I was committed then though, there was no way, absolutely no way I could get down that way, it was so steep. So I kept on going, kept on going. And for part of that climb, I honestly, I had to crawl up on my hands and knees. I have never been so grateful to get to the top of a summit before in my life. Sometimes I should maybe say, go off what other people do and say, rather than uh, try and be like a bit of a lone maverick. One day, it's not gonna pay off for us. Anyway, let's get cracking. So, I'm gonna blast it up there there now. I'm gonna do it in one if I can. Uh, feeling good, to be quite honest. Uh, really pleased about it, because uh, I wasn't looking forward to this first uh, time out, but uh, really surprised. So I'm gonna do that in one. Bit of footage there. I've already filmed the outro, put the camera away. Hencomb, back to the car, and then back to Centre Parks and Mrs. Metal Man. I don't know I said I wasn't going to film anymore. This is the last bit, I promise. I just had to come off pace and uh, get one final view of this. Ooh. Anyway, big quotes off there now. Hard work's gonna really begin. Well, the forecast said full sun at 10 o'clock, and that's what we've got. Onwards, always upwards. Tougher than I was expecting, a lot boggier than I was expecting as well. Oh, they kept me to that car. If you enjoyed the video, really would appreciate a big thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more days out like this, you want to see more uh, wind rides climbed, festival reviews. Hotel reviews, click on that subscribe button. I'll tell you something, you do that, they'll see all them things. And I'll tell you something else, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.